and welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero Fleet Valley. Alright, let's get to work. Anyways, it has been a few days since the last episode, and hi Rudolph. I was waiting for you. Oh. Huh, that was easy. Also a bit glitchy there, but that's fine. I thought we would have actually had to search for it, but apparently it was right here the entire time. Interesting. But yeah, we found the Harvest Goddess Temple. Only problem is we can't get in. Well, I know one person who- oh hey, I start off here instead. But I do know one person who would know how to get in there. Let's go ask the Harvest Goddess how to get into her temple. Also, I am surprised you're up right now. It's like 6 a.m. But yeah, how do we actually get into the temple? I mean, we could just break down the door, but something tells me that wouldn't be very good for tourists. Well, great. I think we should kill the Harvest Sprites. But yeah, uh, the key to the temple somehow got lost because the sprites dropped it somewhere. Oh, that could act actually wait, that might actually be a problem now that I think about it. We have two events that require the full moon. Huh. Well, we I think we do have Moonlight Stone at home, so we could give that to her, but yeah, that's a problem. Because the full moon is also what we need to do our, uh thing with the whole, what was it called again? Moondrop Essence, that's right. I don't know how they interact actually now that I think about it. I think they both can occur because the full moon is technically two days long in this game. Ooh. We'll have to see. There are also other full moons we can do it in. We can actually do this one in the summer. As in we can wait until that full moon, but I would rather get it done before then. Yeah, I don't remember what the interaction is with these two events. Well, whatever. Let me just make sure I have Moonlight Stone first, because we do need a piece of that. Also, despite what she said, we don't actually have to give it to her quite yet. We have to wait until the full moon before we give it to her. I think. I hope. Also, my carrots are done. Awesome. Anyways, I should probably check my storage bin, or yeah, my storage chest, just to make sure I actually have some, uh... Moonlight Stone. If not, I'll have to go digging for it. But yeah, we did find the Harvest Goddess Temple. It's not as spectacular as I thought it would be. It's literally a door and a rock. Well, maybe the other side will be amazing. Or maybe we overhyped it. Who knows? Also, yeah, I still have some uh, pirate treasure I need to sell off. I guess we'll stop by Lewis's shop later. Alright, so let me see here. Is that Moonlight Stone? That's Blue Rock. Oh yeah, we have seven pieces. Actually, let me see something real quick. I'm pretty... I'm gonna take two pieces, actually. I'm pretty sure you give it to her on the day of the full moon, but I'm gonna try giving her one like a little in a little bit. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to wait until the full moon before we can give it to her. Also, I completely forgot that race day is in, in like a week. Ooh, we better get ready for that. And by get ready, I mean we're pretty much ready already. We have all the carrots we need. Actually, wait. How many carrots did I get? Okay, I have enough for that request. And I have my mineral carrots for the race, so... Yeah, I think we're good. Anyways, let's grab our eggs. Also, yeah, I have a lot of milk to sell. We should go do that later. Actually, how far away are we from 50,000? I mean, we still have three seasons to do it, so we're not in any danger of running out of time, but... Yeah, we're fine. I still want to see if I can hit 100,000 by the end of the uh, year. I think it's doable. Alright. Got all the eggs, everyone can come back out now. I just have to make sure that my horse is good. 
We only need to survive one more week. It's not like there's anything that can actually hurt the horse at this point, but you never know, something horrible might happen. I don't think anything horrible can happen unless we just go to town with it with like a sickle or something. Let's not do that. Also, yeah, I need to replant. Actually, do I have seeds already? I think I have seeds on me. Then again, I kind of want to plant something that aren't carrots. Maybe we'll go stop by the flower shop and grab some new seeds. But yeah, I kind of don't want to ever see carrots ever again in my field. We've kind of grown a lot of carrots this season. We've grown way too many carrots this season. But I do want to plant something new. I don't know if there's anything new actually available at the shop at this point. I think in year three new seeds start getting unlocked, but other than that, yeah, we're kind of still limited on our... on what seeds we can plant. Also, I should probably plant that corn if we want to do that request by the end of the season. Alright, so let me see here. What have we not planted? I'm pretty sure we planted all of these at this point. Have we planted rice? We definitely planted strawberries, potatoes. Yeah, we've kind of planted everything, I think. Uh, what do I want? Kind of want something that doesn't regrow. Let's plant, uh, potatoes. Not that many potatoes. Actually, no, not that many potatoes. We don't need that many potatoes. I'm gonna grab, like, nine. That should be more than enough. Don't want to buy anything from you. Also, we did get all the tool upgrades, right? Yeah, we got all the tool upgrades. I couldn't remember if we got them all. Alright, so let me see. Let's sell that treasure that we have. I do have plenty of roots. Actually, that does raise a very good question about the horse race. I forget if we're allowed to pick what uh, race category we get. We might be locked into long distance, so I'm going to keep those. I'm going to sell this pirate treasure, though. I really wonder what's inside that pirate treasure chest. It's probably junk. Maybe it's seeds. Also, why is there so much pirate treasure around here? I wonder if this was like a home for, like an old haven for pirates. If we can find something for that, that would make a good like tourist attraction. Now, unfortunately we don't get to do anything cool with pirates. We're just stuck doing normal stuff, like goddesses. And trees. Speaking of trees, we still haven't heard anything about the 100 year old cherry tree. Well, I guess we couldn't really hear anything about it considering it's dead. Yeah, maybe we should figure out another way to save the town. We also haven't heard anything about the dress or... I guess the golden potatoes either. We're just kind of waiting on a bunch of stuff. We're waiting for the fossil too. Man, there are a lot of endings that we're just waiting at this point. Was there anything else we were doing that we finished? Uh, let's see. The blue mist needs to wait till summer before we can grow that. Fossil. Horse race is next week. So hopefully that one will be finished soon. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to remember what else we're doing. Silverfish is still going. Bluebird is still going. My horse is standing in my field again. That's fine. I don't think it bothers him if I water him accidentally. But I would rather not risk anything to lower his affection. We need him at max affection, super happy with me, trained up, and healthy. Next Monday. Let's just move him real quick. But yeah, what other endings were we doing? We already did the- oh, the Holy Masterpiece we finished. That one's fine. I feel- oh, the weasel, that's right. We haven't heard anything about the weasel. Well, no. We did hear one thing about the weasel, and that's Funland accidentally heard it. Well, I say accidentally, they, but they probably did it on purpose. Oh, the cake. Right, we're still missing an ingredient for the cake. Still don't know how Grandma cooked that cake, but whatever. Maybe she and Grandpa got really romantic on every single full moon so she can bake a cake. 
All right, so let's go sell what we have and then we'll probably head home. But yeah, we really can't do anything else with the cake until the next full moon. So we're just waiting on that. Uh, we'll sell the tomatoes. Sell the... Do I want to sell the strawberries? Let's keep the strawberries for now. I'm going to give those away to the Harvest Goddess as a gift. Also, yeah, I'm just going to start selling some eggs. I have almost 70 eggs. That's way too many. There we go. Oh, oh, that's right. I need to make th that last jar of strawberry jam. I remember now. Okay, we can make that in a second. I completely forgot about that request. It's been a little while since I last recorded. Uh, we can go home and cook it up and then- we'll, Actually, we'll cook it up in the morning. Yeah, I think I'll just cook it up in the morning and deliver it tomorrow then. Anyways, let's go see the Harvest Goddess. And then we'll head home and go to bed. We'll call it a super early day today. But yeah, I don't think we can give her a Moonlight Stone right now. Oh no, okay, yeah. She just kind of threw that back. Yeah, she won't accept it. That's fine, we'll just wait until, uh, what is it? Actually, would she like a flower? We'll wait until, uh, the next full moon then. Oh, also, did you see the dress? Well, the one that she made isn't soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that happens if you just don't throw her, like, uh, was it, an actual food item? But yeah, sounds like everyone's seen the dress at this point. Still haven't heard it back from that, by the way. But yeah, let's head home. There's still only one ending on that grid, by the way. And yes, there are 16 endings in the game. I think there's only one that we haven't actually triggered the beginning of yet. It's actually one of the- no, there are two. No, no way, no. One. Yeah, there's only one ending we haven't actually started yet. It's one that actually triggers really late in the game for some reason. It's also gonna start- wait. What day is it? Oh no. It's gonna rain tomorrow. We can't train in the rain. It was gonna be my last training day too. Darn it, fine. All right, I was hoping I could squeeze in one more training day, but it's raining great. All right, well, whatever. Man, I was gonna see just how far out I could, whoops. I was gonna see just how far out I could go uh, next time I train, just to see if I could glitch myself out of existence, but nope, game wouldn't let me. Also, yeah, everyone needs to get inside right now. No, don't come out. It's raining. Go inside. Alright, I'll actually wait. Okay, never mind. I have plenty of chicken feed. That's right, I restocked last time. Okay, we should be good then. I might have to cut down some fodder though. I think we're a bit low on fodder. I'm always constantly low on fodder because I usually just cut what I need. I should really make a backlog of that. The only problem is that involves using my sickle, and usually my field is full of cows who hate it when they get hit by sickles. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I don't think there's any situation where you can't cut down grass for uh, fodder. But man, I'm disappointed. I guess I should have expected the fact that it would start raining like crazy right now. It is Hero of Leaf Valley. The rain just loves to come in this area. Anyways, let me see how much fodder I have. Oh wait, no, I have plenty, Never mind. I might still wanna go cut some down though. Maybe we'll do that once we're uh, done feeding everyone. Other than that, there's nothing else we could really do today. 
in terms of like events and stuff. Really wish you could do more things in the rain. I was also gonna go cut down some wood today too, but nope, that's not happening. All right, everyone's fed, let's grab our milk. Oh, I do need to still make some strawberry jam to deliver over to the bar. How many more do I need? I think I just need one more, don't I? We need three jars. Yeah, I only need one more. We'll get that cooked up soon. Maybe I should also convert all my milk into cheese. Eh, that takes too long. There's not really a cheese maker in this game. You just have to stick it in the pot and it turns into cheese somehow. But yeah, like I said, we're not going to be bothering with that for now. That takes too much time. Plus, we don't really need the extra money at the moment. Anyways, let's go do some cooking. Uh, how's the feel? Ooh, my- wait, what? Huh, that was quick. Could've sworn strawberries took a lot longer than that to grow. I guess I'm misremembering? It's only- yeah, it also has only been a few days. Well, I'm not complaining. Free strawberries. Alright, let's get this cooked up then. We could also convert it all into No, I think I'm actually gonna keep the strawberries for now. I'll just keep giving them to the Harvest Goddess. Anyways, we need the pot. And we just need to stick in a ton of strawberries. That's a tomato. Where's the strawberries? Do not stick tomatoes in your strawberry jam. Actually, that... No, no, never mind. That does sound like a terrible idea. For a second, I thought it didn't. But no, probably should not be putting tomatoes and strawberries together. There's probably some dish out there that puts tomatoes and strawberries together. That's probably really good, but I just don't know it. Also, there's a helicopter nearby. Don't worry about it. Anyways, we have a few hours to kill. We could go fishing. Yeah, we could go fishing in the lake, actually. One second, I'm going to head home and grab some bait real quick. We'll do that until noon. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see Ponte today because it's raining. He stays inside when it rains. Somewhere. I still have no idea where he lives. I'm assuming there's a cave or s I have no idea where he could go, actually. Maybe he hides in the mine at during the rainstorms. Or maybe he's not real. And we're just literally throwing fish into the ocean, then drawing the uh, fish prints ourselves. But yeah, who knows? He lives somewhere around here. There are plenty of hiding places. Maybe he lives at the Harvest Sprite. Then again, we're probably going to be killing the Harvest Sprites for screwing up and losing the key. So maybe he gets his own house after this. Anyways, let's do some fishing. Uh, where is my bait? Also, yeah, I need to just, like sell a bunch of my fish at this point. We're kind of getting full on our inventory somehow. Alright, let's see if we can catch anything good. That's a bit too far away. Let's see if we can catch anything good that isn't junk. Well, no, we can't catch junk. I use bait. Maybe we'll find some really cool treasure in here. Maybe we'll accidentally catch the uh, silver fish and just end that route immediately. That would be a weird way to, like, get an ending. If you're just randomly fishing and suddenly pull up a really, really rare fish. And then just immediately finish that ending path. That would be funny. Although that would also be very RNG related and I do not want random events again. I'm just kind of glad that every single event in this game is pretty much set in stone when you can trigger it. On the one hand, you don't have to deal with random uh, events and stuff. On the other hand, it's also kind of easy to accidentally miss an event. Especially since a lot of the later ones require that you're, uh, was it? At a certain relationship with certain people. Basically, the easiest way to make sure you get everything is just befriend everyone. I feel like there are people we still haven't, be well, befriend everyone who isn't Charles. There is literally no reason to befriend Charles. 
He's the enemy. He is not gonna help us save the valley. Unfortunately, Redden doesn't even help us save the valley, even if we're besties with him. Oh well. And Alice is indirectly helping us save the valley. Okay, maybe not so much anymore. Right now, she's actually starting to become kind of a hindrance. Considering how many of the ending paths her last robot broke. Oh, wait, I found... How am I holding that? Well, I found a pot. But yeah, I wonder when we're going to see our next robot from them. They're probably building it right now. I wonder if they would mind if I snuck into their headquarters and sabotaged the next robot. Also, yeah, we should probably start, uh, moving soon. Let's see. Actually, yeah, what robot would be next? So, we've, they've been escalating in size lately. First, we started off with the crow, then it was the giant mole, then it was the giant tree. Yeah, I don't remember what's next. I'm... Actually, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I should be going to the bar. Because we have some strawberry jam to deliver. Alright, so let's deliver that jam. Also, how much money do I have now? Okay, yeah, we're almost at 50,000. Awesome. Anyways, I think that's everything I want to do this episode. So I think we'll call it here. So, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero Fleet Valley, I think it's going to be race day. So, till then.